Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first ever painting video. Uh, this is crazy because I never thought that I would be painting and showing this to you guys on YouTube. Um, I guess just a little bit of a backstory. I just been really getting into painting these past few months. Um, something that's just been a really good creative outlet, but also something that's been helping me express myself and kind of heal uh, through this whole process. I am painting four different artwork pieces. Um, I did find these on Pinterest, which I will link everything in my description as well as the materials that I'm using. So with this first painting, it's like this beautiful balcony scene that I really love. Um, so I'm just quickly like sketching it over with pencil and then I'll go over it again with just a really good pen and then I'll just like erase everything. So that way I kind of have my guideline of what I'm painting. And so I am also using the um, Himai, H-I-M-A, H-I-M-I -I gouache paint set from Amazon as well as the brushes which I will link below. And the colors are very vibrant just for you to like keep that in mind so as you can see um, I've already mixed a lot of my colors from like previous painting jobs that I've done and yeah it's just been like really therapeutic so one thing I am learning especially with this whole painting process is that it doesn't have to be perfect and and you don't need to be perfectionist. I think one thing especially when you're creating art is like you tend to get too into your head and sometimes like you won't really be satisfied or happy with your work and that's a tough one because I'm very like kind of perfectionist almost really overthinker but again take it easy have fun with it and I think that's the most important thing So this is the next day. Um, I just kind of did one painting a day just to kind of warm up to it. I haven't painted in like a month, I think, during before I filmed this video. So I was kind of a little rusty. I'm painting this next scene. It's so beautiful. It's just like this wonderful little lake. Just a bunch of like flowers and plants everywhere and like these lily pads. One thing I'm realizing is that I'm getting really drawn towards nature. I think nature is very simple yet very complex in terms of like the color palette like mixing things in and it's just so beautiful and inspiring um i feel like whenever you look at nature it's everyone sees it in a different light i did the same process as the first painting is where i sketched it first with pencil and then i went over it with ink and then i erased everything and then now i'm just using uh, the gouache 
paints and what I like to do is kind of water it down a little bit to sort of mimic like that watercolor kind of look. I usually like to start off really light and then work my way up and make it as dark as I want it to be. One of my favorite things about this piece is that I just love blending in different colors. So there's a lot of blue tones, a lot of green tones, as well as purple tones. And one thing too is like even with the colors, you don't have to get it exactly just how is the picture is like you can kind of freehand and mix it. Um, that's that's one thing I really love about painting as well. It's kind of like I'm coming up with my own like secret ingredients to come up with a really cool color. I feel like this painting took me a while because a lot of colors and a lot of like layering and kind of going over things and of course you have to like wait for it to dry a little bit. Um, I'm still working on the shadowing. I need to learn a little bit more of that. This is the next day, hence why I'm wearing something different. So the next drawing, I found a beautiful like wallpaper kind of image on Pinterest and it was just so freaking pretty. I really wanted to draw it. I was like really inspired. So for this piece, I decided not to like sketch anything or use like any pen over it. I just wanted to freehand it, which I really enjoyed as well. Um, so I just kind of drew like the branches and uh, the tree first, the, the lemon tree first, and then I kind of went over and colored in the background. It's just like a fun process again, like going over um, deepening the colors. one thing that I learned through this process is like don't be afraid to make mistakes um, it's really easy to cover it up a little bit and change it if you did make a mistake and honestly most people don't even see the actual mistake it's only you because I feel like we're our own worst critics um, but anyways this is how it turned out like I really love it um, and I feel like I could have added more but I'm like you know what sometimes you just have to put the paintbrush down and just appreciate for what it is this is my last final painting. Again, I decided to just freehand it as well um, and just go on and paint it. I just kind of wanted to experiment to see like how it'll look. This picture I did find um, on Pinterest as well. Just a beautiful colored forest. So many different blends of color and I think this is really good for me to like learn. Um, also, if you have any tips on kind of shadowing and going more in depth, um, especially with like gouache painting because it, this is... This whole thing is like so new to me. Feel free to let me know in the comments because I always love to get feedback. I just kind of like layered each color again, just kind of going over it. And I used two different paintbrushes throughout the entire time, a really thin one and then more of a wider brush just so I can get more of like the bristly kind of look when I'm painting it. As you can see, um, it adds a lot more texture and so I just kind of went over it. I feel like at this point I was kind of confused because like again I was comparing my uh, painting to the picture that I saw and one thing you want to just be wary of is try not to compare too much because the important thing is for you to just even just paint and be creative and like let go right it's supposed to be a freeing process That's just pretty much how it turned out. I feel like from the first few pictures that I showed you earlier, I have gotten better and I'm still continuing on getting better. And yeah, I hope this inspires you guys to kind of like venture out and 
have fun with something new hope you guys enjoyed my first painting video and i will see you in my next one take care bye